Hello and welcome back to Magical Budgets. It's Amanda and today we are going to um, do my winter challenges. So, um, last time I did, I said it was going to be the last time I filled our stock fall challenges. And so what I did, I just pulled all the money, like I didn't use any of it. I just pulled all the money that was in my fall challenges and then I had some like additional money I put with it. So we are going to start filling my um, winter challenges. So these are some of them. There's some that's tucked in here because I only do like eight or nine at a time and there's 15 in the bundle. So those these are up on my Etsy shop right now. So there's a house with trees. We have snow days with a little gnome there in the middle. Uh, coffee drinks, hot cocoa drinks, penguins, snowmen, hats, snowflakes, and then we have tens and fives. So, so we're going to stuff through some of this. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so 225, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So we have $230 to stuff in our winter challenges. So we are going to start with our snowy savings. So this one, the house is worth 20 and then all of the trees are worth 10. So I'm going to go ahead and do the house and the two trees. So I'm going to put 40 in this one. We're gonna put 40 go ahead and put 40 in this one and we're gonna do the house and the two trees i'm not um i'm gonna go ahead and color it but i will probably cut this part out all right so there is my little house and my trees so i still have eight more trees to color in so we have 40 in our snowy day and these um I don't think I printed them small, but they fit a little easier than the fall ones did. Not real sure, because I used the same kind of template that I made. All right, so now we're going to do our snow days. These are not, um, these are not listed for how much they are, so I'm trying to find my dice in here, and we're going to roll, what's that one, there's a 12 sided, we'll do 12. All right, so we're gonna do, we'll do two. Sorry, I don't mean to be. All right, so we have four. Ah. One, two, three, four. And one, hang on. We're gonna have to do more than that then. All right, so we did four, one, control again. I think that's nine. Yeah. Um, so let's put a one back and do a 10. And we'll go ahead and do this one. Two. So two. Let's put three back and we'll get a five. All right. So. 10, 15, 16 on snow days. So that one was two. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll color those real quick. I'm gonna be cutting out a lot in this video. All right, so there's little snowman, so cute. So I've got half of this one done. 
Um, so this one, I mean, if you want to assign a certain amount to each one, you can, but I'm just rolling. Um, and so that way you can see what I did for each one. Um, so that way, if you need it to be lower income, that works. And if you are good with it, then you do you. All right, cocoa. So cocoa, each cup of cocoa is worth 10. So we're gonna do, we'll put 20 in this one. And we'll color two cups of cocoa. All right, so we have our two cups of cocoa. We have our $20. So there's that one. We have our penguins, which has, there's three that are t worth 10 and three that are worth five. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, let's just go ahead and use another 20. Mm. Here. We'll do a 10 and a 5. And we'll color these two penguins. And I don't think I have... I don't have a black. Which is bad when you're coloring penguins. I'm not doing the candy cane. All right, so there's our two little penguins. So we have 15 in the penguin challenge. Yay. All right, next, um, all these are worth five. So we have, let's just put 10 in this one and we'll color two of our, I'm tired of coloring people. Um, uh, all right, so quickly, I'm just going to color a snow, this one. I'll come back later and color the birds. And super quick, we'll color this little Christmas tree. So I'll know that I did two, which there's money in there. So that should tell me how many I did. But anyway, I'll come back and color the rest later. All right, so there are two snowmen. Is anybody else getting a lot of snow? Like we're getting, we're getting a lot of snow. We've had... We've missed, which I mean, we've had remote days, but like we've missed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight days of school in January for snow. Eight. And we usually don't miss that much, which I know is supposed to be what, like an El Nino year. And so there's going to be more snow than normal or something. All right. So we have hats. All the hats are worth 10 each. So let's do, how many do I have left? Okay, I've got a few left. Um, I wanna do one half because I have plans for what's left in this when we get finished. And so um, if there's any left, and so I would really kind of like for there to be some left. And maybe not all of it is going to go into this binder. So we put 10 in here. So I colored the straps on one half um, so there's 10 in this one. Uh, snowflakes are only worth five each. I've got a bunch of fives here, so we're going to color two snowflakes. And so, um, I like to outline the lines. Not quite that large, but you get the idea. Uh, 
I really don't know what to do about being home alone. I've never, like, I'm three kids and a husband. You are never home alone. Like, there's always somebody else here. So, I'm kind of digging this. So, there's, oh, that, I only did one snowflake. I gotta do. And my printer is really getting on my nerves because the blue, I've got an Epson, so it's got like the four different, you know, bottles. My blue keeps clogging up, and so I keep having to clean it out, and it's really getting annoying. So if anybody has an Epson and one of their colors keeps clogging, can you tell me what, if there's anything you can do besides just keep cleaning the head? Because, like, I'll go to print stuff, and the blue is the only one that, like, leaves lines and stuff. So, it's really annoying. But then when I clean the head, it's fine until it sits for a little while. You know, if it sits for a few days and I don't use it, and then I gotta use it again, then it does it again. So, anyway, it's part of the reason why there's lines on some of these is because I just cleaned the head and when I printed these, and it was, or maybe I hadn't cleaned the head when I, I cleaned it right after I did these because there was lines. But I was like, well, I'm the only one using these. So, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, okay, now there's a ton of these. So I'm kind of tempted. No, we're gonna do one. One, and then those others, there's, you know, we, we kind of hit heavy on, those, on the front end on those other challenges. So we'll end up with just these, trying to finish them up at the end of winter, hopefully. So we can throw a little more then. Okay, so there's 10 in that one. We're gonna do five in this one. Cause this is one like, if I wanted to just keep this one in my desk drawer and every time I get a five, throw it in there, um, then I could finish this one up pretty, pretty easily. Um, all right, so there's all my snowy savings, all of my winter challenges. Um, I'll show you the others, although, yeah. So there's a mitten one, so I'll probably change this one out, and it has a little circle, so you can roll the amount and write it in. Um, treat yourself. Cookies and coins, so each cookie's worth five. Tis the season. See, some of these are a little more Christmassy. And then there's this one that's Happy Holidays. And there's another one that has a gift on it, but I think where my printer was a little wonky, it didn't look the best. So um, I didn't, uh, I threw it away. Um, but anyway, so you get 15 challenges. I think it's $10 in the shop um, for 15 challenges. So not too bad. And again, you know, you can print them as many times as you want to. So even better. So if you like, seasonal challenges, money challenges, cash stuffing, all the things. Um, consider subscribing and coming back and sticking with us and I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks. Bye.